Good morning, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, uh, there you go. I posted some pages with definitions from mental health uh, on them. I want you to look over those pages and, and learn those that terminology. Um, I'm going to have you give you an assignment in a little bit. Um, but you never know. You need to be familiar with those terms because you never know when you'll need to interpret in a situation that involves somebody's mental health. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, in our society today, uh, and in a lot of societies, including societies in Latin America, uh, mental health problems or talking about mental health is something to be ashamed of or something to be ignored or you know, pretend like it's not a problem but it is a problem and it's becoming more and more of a problem and um, we're seeing especially in the United States we're seeing more and more people ask for help which is good um, you know, I, I've, I've told you before I'm completely open about my struggles with mental health I'm bipolar, I'm uh, disabled, all that stuff. Um, I have OCD. All of it is, it, I, and I take medicine for all of it, and I'm very compliant. Um, so, you know, when you hear, when we hear bipolar, people think, oh, you go spend all your money, and then you're, you know, you stay up all night for three days, and then, you know, you crash in your, down for three two or three days and it can work like that and i mean you know it, it has happened with me like that um i once uh bought a car that i did not need and could not afford even though my wife advised me not to i was working for myself full time and making good money and you know i just i was at the time i didn't know it but i was manic and um I just, I pulled, I drove onto the car lot with a paid for car to get a uh, oil change and I left with a new car. Um, you know, so, not, so though, that, you know, I'm familiar with that. <clears throat> and it does cause problems in, in your marriage and, and in every area of your life. So, most of the time when when a person seeks help for mental health, we're already embarrassed, feel guilty, slash, you know, ashamed of ourselves. Um, so it's very important for you as the interpreter, the person speaking their language, to show them respect. Um, you know, don't don't make any of their feelings they're already having worse, okay? And just explain to them you're going to interpret exactly what's said as it's said. Um, you know, just speak to the doctor, tell the doctor what was what's going on, and uh, you know, try to make the person feel comfortable with you as much as you can. Uh, so, learn those termino that terminology in English and Spanish. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And I will um, also be posting some more stuff later on. I'm going to post a second video tomorrow. Um, so, uh, also, no gossiping. You know that. Uh, there's all kinds of rules, including HIPAA, which, which is the law. It's not a rule. Um, HIPAA prevents us from gossiping about this person has this or that person has that um you know that is that's something also that kept people from sharing uh for a long time they were not sure about the uh confidentiality of the person they were talking to i know there's a local clinic here uh, that, that does mental health work and I see a therapist there years ago I started to go there 
but I was embarrassed because it was here in the in the town and and I knew people would see me going in and out and now I don't give a crap. Uh, the therapist there helps me a lot and uh, you know it's not a big deal. You do what you got to do, and everybody could benefit at some point in their lives. I feel from from having a therapist or at least uh, a minister, pastor, someone they could talk to, and someone you could talk to in their lives. And um, <clears throat> so, what I want you to do is, um, you know, write write those words down, write the definitions down. Write the translation down. Um, you can write them down, take a picture, and email it back to me, or you can uh, type it all up with the word, the translation, and the definition, and send it back to me. Um, I'll, I'll, and these words are important because they're going to be on your final exam. Um, and I'm still still trying to figure out exactly how we're going, what format we're going to use for the final exam, but. You will have one, and it's going to cover everything we've talked about uh, so far this year. And uh, I, uh, I miss having uh, lectures with you guys, uh, inter interacting with each other. Um, hopefully, we'll be back to doing that soon. Um, also, I want you to <coughs> excuse me. Uh, write me. Or you can send it by text or email. Write me uh, an essay on in English and in Spanish on how this um, this isolation quarantine, whatever you want to call it, how it's affected you in your daily lives. Okay. All right, and that's enough for now. And I will be back. Uh, later on. Thanks. Bye.